So we're here with Apostle DeMonte Edmonds, and you've traveled the world doing ministry, but in particularly doing prophecy. What is prophecy? There seems to be so much mystery around it. What is prophecy exactly? Prophecy, to simplify it, is hearing and receiving from the heart and mind of God and conveying that to people in a way that they can understand it and they can have impact upon their life. So when someone gets a word, how do you know that this is actually a word from God? How do you know that when someone says, God told me to tell you this? How do you know that's actually a word from God? Well, for me personally, I know because I know when I'm, re I'm receiving it that it's not my internal voice, that it's the voice of God. But for people, one of the things that they really should look for is the inner witness on the inside. I believe if the Spirit of God is in you and somebody's speaking from the Spirit of God, that it should connect with you on the inside. There should be that green light that says, this is God. Also, the Bible says, you know, a prophet or a prophetic, prophetic word that's true because it comes to pass. So you judge those words by if it actually comes to pass as well. Now, that's another thing. I mean, I've received words from 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> they haven't come to pass yet. And when you're when you believe that you really received, you get that witness and you know it's a word from God, but you're in the waiting period. What do you do? Do you just wait for the word to come to pass? Is there something you're supposed to be doing in between that time? And that can be very frustrating because I've been in that period. I believe we all stay in that period. That lets us know that God still has a tomorrow for us. Because when you run out of prophecy, that means that you might be close to the end. And so it's a good <laughs> thing we have words that have not come to pass. So I just want to encourage the viewers with that. But the Bible says in Timothy, Paul tells Timothy, wage a good warfare with the prophecy that has went over your life. You can take those words and pray over them. You can take those words and intercede over them. Because just like Daniel, he found out about the children of Israel through reading the writings of Jeremiah, that they were supposed to come out of captivity, and he began to fast and pray. And so then that released the angels of heaven to bring those words into manifestation. Now we've talked about receiving a word. What if, how do I know that I actually have a word for someone? Because there's times where I've thought, I've heard things and I'm like, I don't know if that's me. I don't know if that's God or the devil. How can you tell that you're actually giving someone a word from God? How would you know personally? because I have that faith begins to arise in my heart. Secondly, a lot of times God gives me compassion for that person. I just feel this magnetic pull to go to the person, maybe in the supermarket, maybe in church, and maybe in the streets. I feel a pull. And even when I try to dismiss it and say, oh, it's me, it comes back like this. You have to give that word to the person. And then also the Bible says in Hebrews 5, that by reason of use, we have our senses exercised to discern between good and evil. So as you practice releasing the word of the Lord, you increase in your confidence. What advice would you give to someone in how to receive a word and then in giving a word? First of all, in receiving a word, I would say be quiet. A lot of times people get so emotional about the word or what's being said, they miss the substance or the content or the wisdom or the instruction. Because you see people get excited, they cry, they get emotional, and you want to have a response, but you really want to not miss what God is really trying to say to you. Because some people have gotten words and then you ask them, what, did, what was spoken? I don't know. <laughs> but they had an emotional response. Secondly, take those words back to God. A lot of times people depend on the prophet to bring the word to pass, but take those words back to God, pray to God, because it's, it's wisdom that God can release to you to help those words manifest. What is the difference between, because I've, when I was growing up, it was like, you know, only prophets, the person, if you were a prophet, you prophesied. Can an everyday Christian bring a prophecy? Yes. Uh, Apostle Paul actually says, uh, you can all prophesy one by one that you can be encouraged. Then it says the gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians 12 are given to each one to profit with all. So you may not be a prophet, but God can use you if you're open to him and you're willing to be used. 